Yeah. What did the prison officers battle you for? Oh, that was a mad one, yeah. So I was in my cell and in Belmarsh they have this team called the DST. So they've come now to search a cell, but I've got a visit. I'm going home in the morning. Like you could find 30,000 phones in my cell. You can't do anything. I'm going home. Like you've given me a nicking sheet. I've already gone home, bro. I'm having a wank indoors by the time the nicking's come through. So we have to go outside the cell. This guy is in front of me. He's got like blonde spike here with glasses. He's like, put your arms under your armpits and lean against the wall, yeah? I was like, fuck off. I ain't doing that. He went, I'm telling you, you little cunt. Put your fucking arms under your armpit. I said, I ain't doing it. And he's just come. I just went, bang, hit him. He dropped. Yeah. So I've got myself in the corner. They've all come, press the alarm. There was about just loads of them, just a sea of guys. And I was like, come on, the first one you come, I was going at. And they went one, two, three, but and jumped on me. And I remember Harry Stewart was in his cell watching. And he was like, yes, Dan, I'm just rocking all the uh, prison officers. James, no joke, they put me in handcuffs, yeah? They said, are you going to walk? I said, fuck off, carry me, mate, you dogs, and all that, yeah? So I'll just make it harder for them, yeah? Like the other day, I was like, carry me, boy. <laughs> I'll just make it hard, difficult for them. James, you know what they've done? They literally picked me up on my legs, put them under their arms, one leg under each, carried me all the way to the block on my forehead. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> on my head, bro. I go, you can't do this to me. <laughs> literally, just carry, shut up, you little cunt. Whack, <laughs> chilling my legs and that. Um, got in a block on my mum's life, mate. Like, I'll never forget them. It's a mad old story, this one. So got me in a block, got handcuffs on, said, you think you're a bad boy? You're standing me up. Bang, dropping me. Standing me up again, bang, dropping me again. I've got handcuffs on. They're proper, full blown, getting gloves to hold me and whacking me. I'm dropping again, jumping up and down on me, stamping on me. I had to kick myself under the bed for protection. They was dragging me out, trying to do me. And then Mr. Murray, I remember it clear as day, pressed the alarm bell because he thought them gloves was honestly going to kill me that day. And then all the gloves come, the glove that was on top of me giving it to me. He started saying, oh, fuck, to the other guy. So, oh, fucking press the alarm. And he's strangling me now, yeah? He's like, I wanted to kill this cunt. Mate, it was the most maddest situation I've ever been in. All the govs come, or healthcare come. Then the next morning, didn't think nothing of it. The governor come in, he had his sleeves rolled up. Yeah? Didn't think nothing of it. He said, Mr. Simpson, I said, Jay, he said, you got, um, you're going home this morning. I said, Jay, he went, you've got three assaults here on police of, uh, prison officers. Very serious assaults. You're not one. Sparko, like, on the landing. On CCTV. I said, yeah. He went, but he's seen, must see my face, like, it's bad. He went, nah, you can have two options. I said, what's that? He said, you can walk from here, go to reception and go home quietly. Or you can go, leave here, I'll, I'll ring the police up and have you done for these assaults on these uh, on these." Prison officers, what one are you going to choose? And I looked at Mr. Murray and Mr. Murray was like, I was like, I'll go home quietly. He went, lucky for you, and undone his sleeves and put his cufflinks on like he was going to bat me as well. <laughs> and then literally went on. I didn't even go on. I went straight to my mate's ass. I looked in the mirror. I see my face. No, I'm not on. I saw my kid's life. I said, get a gun out. We're going there now. I'm going to do one of the officers. He went, what? I said, listen, if you love me, we're going in now, we're doing one of them officers. Trust me, I'm going to shoot him on the doorstep. And that's on my kid's life. We got a gun, we went back to the prison. I was going to wait for the officer to come out, I was going to shoot him right in his nut. They battered me, they took the piss. We got to the prison, my brother's kid was on a life support machine because he was born premature. And he said, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, I'm sure I'm going to do this. He's like, Dan, you've got your own kids, You're going to... my kid's now on the thing. And that's the only reason I didn't ruin my life that day. Because his kid was on a ventilator mission. Mad shit, innit? it? But do you think he would have killed you if he never pressed the panic button? Yeah, he was proper serious. Do you think that happens a lot? 100%. Kill kids, man, beat the fuck out of them, and then say it's a suicide or they fail over 100%. the fucking. Yeah, easy. Yeah. They can get away with it. Who's going to go against them? There's no CCTV, there's no nothing. It happens daily, mate. I'm, thousands. I know kids that have, have broke their arms. Broke their jaws. Like, I see it all in Elmley. They used to put me in the block all the time for G.O.D., 30 days in the block. Literally, I would watch 10 officers run into a kid and this kid not be no bigger than a stick and they'd be jumping up and down him, smashing his head against the floor, whack, like... And you're like, how can you do that, bruv? I, even your worst enemy, like, you'd have a fight with them, you'll knock them out. You, you might give them a kick or something. You're not going to start jumping up and down. Like, that's just another level, do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like, prison officers get away with some mad, mad shit. Like, honestly, like, you can ask anybody. Someone who's been to prison will tell you a mad story of what prison officers do to prisoners, 100%. But at the end of it, what will happen is the prison has just got battered, will have to put in, like, appeal forms and try and sue the police, but he will get nicked for assaulting a prison officer. So he's the one bad one. So the prison officers get away with it. Because now he's getting in trouble for assaulting a prisoner when he actually done anything. Yeah. He's probably got a bit cheeky, give a push or might have spat. But he's just fucking caved his head in. So yeah, mate, prison officers are like on another level.